tonight we have one of my favorite fighters of all time. Top five. He's definitely in the top five, maybe higher. He's also definitely one of the greatest fighters of all time. Uh, the one, the only, terrible Terry Norris. This guy had speed and power from another world. Uh, just one of the most exciting fighters to watch in the 90s. Um, man, let's just get into it. There he is. Hey, what's up? What's up, what's up bro? Hey, not much, not much. Can they hear you? Can, can yeah, you hear me? We hear him great. Are you Diego? I'm in, no, I'm in LA. LA. I'm in LA. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I used to live in um, San Diego, but I got, I got married. Oh. Uh, okay. Got married. Yeah, oh. Mary, you don't have to yell. Up a little bit, huh? Yeah, so, man. So, so, Terry, Jeremy told me a story. Tell me if you remember this, that you and your brother sparred Jeremy when he, and what year was this, Jeremy? Mm, 89, 90. Do you remember yeah. this? I don't remember it, no. Um, well, he uh, said, uh, you Diego, tell him. What happened, Jeremy? That's more Diego, um, who, who was your trainer? Um, the, the Puerto Rican guy was your trainer. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Um, hey, boy. Hey, 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 he's not Puerto Rican, though. He's, he's Spanish. Mexican. Mexican. And I remember we was going down, and I was like, I'm like 15, 16, like amateur champion, world champion. And I remember, I remember, look, I supported him in the club, and he beat the shit out of me. And I was like, man, I want to support that little guy. At least a chance. And then I started with you, and I never seen the punch. They just all hit me. <laughs> I was like, but but I, I but I did. I, you guys were very gracious. You and your brother were very gracious with me, and you told me I, it was only. We, I stayed there for like a weekend. You no, know, you guys had that that camp out in San Diego. Yeah, in Campo. Yeah, Campo. Yeah, in, in Campo. Yeah, that I was at, and I was like, I, I learned a lot, and. I, it hurt, just for the record. <laughs> um, hey, I remember you were a good fighter, man. You are a good fighter yourself. I thank you very much. Uh, Terry, how many amateur fights did you have total? Uh, my, amateur, my amateur record, man, I was over, well over 300 and something. I'm not even sure, not even sure now. Ooh. That's like you, Jeremy. Yeah. yeah. So well, what age did you start boxing? I, I started boxing when I was nine. Wow. That's like, Jeremy, what were you, eight? I was eight, yeah, when I started boxing. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, wow. we, we, all, we all started early, man. So, well, you're, you're, you're from Texas originally, correct? Yes. So you started, what part of Texas? Dallas, Houston? No, uh, a, small, a small town called Lubbock. Lubbock, Texas. Lubbock, Lubbock I've Lubbock, heard of that. Right. Yeah. That's, that. So, um, so you turned pro, and what... Did you win? Were there any amateur accolades that 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 you remember winning that really stood out to you, or were you more focused on turning pro? Um, you know, um, am amateurs were amateurs kind of went, went kind of went fast, me. You know, I when I got into amateurs, I started winning, winning a lot of fights. Uh, I only, only lost four, four, four amateur fights. Um, wow. Yeah, so I have two, I have, I have two hundred eighty-one fights. Two hundred. Wow. Yeah, so so I had a, a long amateur boxing career, man. But, you know. So you were on the boxing team? Was that? Were you on the U.S. boxing team? No, no, I ne never, no. I never, I never made. It. So what what got you into boxing? Like, did you get in a lot of street fights when you were younger, or ha ha what made you box? Believe, believe it or not, man, my, 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 my dad, my dad got me into fighting. That's um, like Jeremy. Yeah, he, he's he's a he's a he's just a street fighter. My my father was a street fighter, and um, he taught me and my brother how to fight. And my brother 
you know, went on with it. You know, I was, I was, I was playing baseball, and playing basketball, all the sports, and baseball, baseball. I played baseball for a while. Then my brother, my brother told me, asked me to come over and box, 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 amateur. Yeah, I know. I should we come by pro, and that's when it just take off. Was there a was there a love for baseball or a like for baseball? Maybe you thought you could go pro as a baseball player. Yeah, I thought I could. I could thought I could. Uh, baseball. I well, I went semi pro to baseball. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, position. Uh, a center field pitcher. Oh goodness! Wow. Yeah, Great. Man. Um. So. I was telling Jeremy how you pretty much dominated for about eight years, right? And your first loss to Derrick Kelly, I watched it recently, and it, to me it seemed like you you kind of you were turning southpaw. It almost seemed like you were you weren't really throwing combinations. Like, do you remember? It seemed like there was something wrong that fight. What am I yeah. right? Yeah, something was wrong that right? night. I don't know what it was, but something was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I still, still, still right now. I have no idea. I just <clears throat> so you know, some, when we fight, there's something there's something that's wrong with us and and the the energy in the fight. So we don't know what it is, but we know that we can't perform at our highest level. Yeah, I, I'm talking about and, that, that, and that, that's, that's what happened to me at that time. You know, I I felt I felt I felt good, but I just couldn't pull the trigger. You know, and and every time I try to do something. He would capitalize. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> you know, you're, you were so much more talented and, and your career, you know, it, I definitely looked like that was just an off night for you. But, you know, after that, I mean, I think I think your first biggest win, if, I mean, this is my opinion, is, is against Mugabe. Would you agree? Oh, I, I agree with it, yeah. <laughs> and yeah was... What do you remember about that fight that stands out? I remember uh, Mugabe coming into the fight um, – you know, just t talking a lot of stuff, man. You t this man, um, he, this man spoke, talked so much shit, man. He, he talked so much, man. Um, he was like, just telling me all kinds of stuff in the way in, you know, trying to, trying to, like, I guess. So, so, so you, you were, were, you were actually angry? He got under your skin? Well, well he, you know, uh, boys, as, as fighters, we don't ever get angry, but, you know, you do get on your skin, you know, just, you kind of just, kind of just, just, I'm going to take you, I'm, I'm going to get your ass in the ring, man. <laughs> so, well, I, I remember people that would get me angry at the fight, instead yeah. of knocking out, I'd beat them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All night, and I let them know, dude, all this coming, this is coming all night. That's how yeah. 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 With, with, um, one guy... Paul Paul Vaden. Mm. I fought him. I just punched him for twelve rounds. I um you know, I could I think I think I could have knocked him out several times, but I bagged up a little bit, let him let him recuperate and I I tag him again. That 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 in boxing is how you is how you Yeah. Hey, what? That that in boxing is how you break someone. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, you just don't you just you just put your hands on them all night, all, all night, man, all night. <laughs> so, so after you beat Mugabe, I guess the the second biggest victory where you fought Ray Leonard. What what made? And I'm sorry, you've been asked this a thousand times, but you know it was a while ago. What made Ray Leonard go to you? Like, why did he want to fight you? Uh, you know, I, I have no idea. I <laughs> I don't know why Ray Ray chose me, but um. He chose the wrong fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's true. Because, you know, people don't realize Ray was 35, which isn't that old. You know what I mean? Back uh, then, it was. Right now, it's not old. Not really, because, you know, Ray took time yeah. off because of and stuff. He was fresher than people think. You know, Terry was just, uh, you know, you're, you were way faster than him. Way faster. Yeah. Ray, Ray, Ray wasn't old. It was just, um, I was able to. I was, I was on my. I was on P's and Q's that night, and Ray wasn't. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, no, thing, thing, though, Ray, Ray's my idol. I didn't want to fight Ray. I, I, I told him I didn't want to fight him. He knew I didn't want to fight. But um, they kept pressing fight. And so, <laughs> 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 no, I was scared. But, yeah, 
I was nervous. Was, <laughs> was there was there a lot of fights that you didn't want to take that you took? Um, you know, um, no, not, not really, man. There's um, I, there's a couple of fights that you know I was like, mm, you know, wait, winky, winky, winky. You're right with one. Yeah, what happened? Everybody froze. That's, that's a tough boy. Did you yeah, Wink is a good friend of mine. We we boxed on the same U.S. team together. Yeah, he, he can fight too, man. Yeah. Very fighter, but man, just very very good at what he can do. So yeah. so so the the Ray Leonard <clears throat> were scared, but you didn't want to hurt him. Um, no, I, I, yeah. The way the way I was beating Ray, you know, I just. I was just keying off the way round one to round 12, but, you know, I, I didn't want her to know. And so, so did, but obviously when the bell rang, you, you know, you're a professional, you did your business because you didn't look like you were holding back. No, no, no. I did, you know, the first round, I didn't hold back. Second round, I didn't hold back. You know, I, I, w I wanted to win. I wanted to win the fight, but you know, I wanted to beat him, so, but I just didn't want to hurt him. Well, that, that's good. Okay. As, a, as well as you are, but that makes a lot of sense. Did you uh, <clears throat> did did you enjoy the rounds and the fight with Leonard? Did you enjoy like being able to orchestrate what went on? Oh yeah, man. Yeah, it was, it was yeah, it was great, man. It was, it was me doing me doing my thing and Ray you doing it. That's that's a great feeling, man. I love it when fights go like that because they're always. They always, you know, the rounds go by and it's like you're not even working. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Was there ever a fight that you that, that you wanted that you couldn't get or didn't have? Um, if there was, was several fights like De La Hoya, mm. Bernard Hopkins, those guys, um, they, they wanted to fight me too, but it just never came about. What well, weight would you have De La Hoya at? Um, me and Delahoy would have been, I think, 54. I mean, you were, you were pretty much 54 your whole career, right? Yeah. My whole career. Were you to make that weight or no? Um, no, it was easy. It was easy. It was easy. Yeah. I mean, I mean yeah. uh, so you also so beat, knocked out Donald Curry, which was, I mean, really impressive. Yeah. Uh, that the, the Donald Curry the Cobra. Yeah, the bad boy. Yeah. He was, yeah, I got him. Okay, I think I'm not sure Brown. I got him in, but yeah, that, that, was, that was the fight that I, I didn't know how it was gonna turn out either. Mm. But I, I, um, there's a guy, the boxing chef. The boxing chef said, "Uh, Pernell Whitaker." Oh, too light. Man, I would have, I would have to fight him too. It, but yeah, he was, he was too light though. I, 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 you I, and I, that would have been a great. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Chavez almost, 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 almost got to, to get, almost got to fight together. We almost got to get the man, but what, what Chavez, happened? What? Same same promoter. Oh, oh, Dying. yes. Dying. Oh. And then, but so then you fought uh, Meldrick. Who, Meldrick. So would no. you say was Mel? Who was the fastest hand you've ever been in there? With? Meldrick, Meldrick. Um, he had the best hands of all. Uh, he, the man, uh, he had the best hands. Not a lot of power, but he had the speed. See, and that shows how fast you were. Um, you know, you're one of my favorite fighters, so, you know, maybe I'm biased, but that shows how fast you were because you were way faster than my fight. fight. But, uh, yeah, I was fast. I had fast, fast hands, too, but uh, I, th I, think, um, I think I think he had me beat. Pretty good. Really good. And they had me beat, man. Mm. <clears throat> There's um, some people in here that Norris would have taught Mayweather a lesson. Do you feel that way? You know what, man? Um, I feel the same way. You know, um, <laughs> I, I think if in my prime, Mayweather, Mayweather uh, that, that, that shows the lean, that, that, that wouldn't stop me from coming through. Did you, uh, you ever fight? I feel did you ever fight anybody um, that we would know that that? Because I can't I can't think of anybody who had that kind of that that Philly role, same, same kind no, of defense. No, no, I, no, no. I never I never fought anybody like that. But I, I just I just see myself fighting, say fighting fight fighting a guy that that fights that way, and 
seeing that I, I would do more than just do what I see these fighters are doing with, with these, these, they show the thing, you know, you gotta take them, you know, more punches. Yeah, yeah. And, and you had, you were great at angles and going to the side, and yeah, it would have been a problem. Use those, um, use those angles, man. Exactly, yeah. You, uh, so, who would you say was the hardest puncher that you ever faced? Oh, man, um, Simon Brown. No, 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 no. Julian Jackson. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That boy, man, he can hit. <laughs> yeah. Can. We interviewed him uh, like a couple months ago. Why did you never rematch him? Why come that never happened? You know, I don't know why the fight didn't come, come about, but normally normally I do rematch. I do rematch, but it just didn't happen. Um, I think uh, another big fight came along, but I, that, that, that should have been one fight that well, I should have pressed for. I, didn't, I, I know I know a guy beat me. I know he come back and beat him, you know, so... Um, that's the first fight I should have came. Yeah, I, you were correctly. You were every round. You know? So I think yeah. you know, kind of like with some round rematch, you just boxed them and it was easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, I think, by boxing would kill him. You know, if I had just stuck with him, move around, but but I got cocky and we ain't trying to get him. He did not get out. He he laid, laid the good shot on me. Yeah. Well, the, the, Thing here that Terry Norris in his prime would have walked through Mayweather. Yeah, I would. I would. I believe so. I believe it would have. Yeah, I tell you the truth, I believe it as well. <clears throat> I mean, I, I, the, the exceptional hands, exceptional speed. You know, your power was good at fifty-four. I mean, that's 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 a, that's a hard division these days. Well, I think it, it, it's always very tough. I think Terry was a lot like Roy Jones in terms of speed is power. You know, your yeah. shots, were, you know what I mean? Your shots would crumble people and, you know, you got that shoulder snap and, and they never saw the punches coming. And, you know, you have, I mean, a lot of knockouts, 31 yeah. knockouts. Yeah. I, mean, this is, I think I think power comes from putting those combinations together. When you put them together, it's like power, you know. Well. Where was what was your power shot? Your right hand or your left hook? Or? No, uh, I think my I think my, my right hand, my left hook. Yeah, my, uh, I had a right hand, left hook. I had a good upper guy too. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, was there any any like world champions, well known fighters that you sparred with that 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 come to mind that you could tell us about? Um, um nah, no, nah, nah. <laughs> Moved around with like or anybody like that. Was it, was it, say again, please. Never moved around with like Tommy Burns or anything like that. No, but, um, no, I never. No, no, I, I wish. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy's one guy that I wish I could have not. not, wait, not hey, wait, 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 wait! You moved around with me, beat the crap out of me when I was like sixteen. <laughs> I care about that? Hey, you know, but no, it's, it's how rude. Hey. I drove all the way to San Diego to get beat up. Yeah, well, man, I don't, remember, I, don't remember, I don't remember that fight, man. <laughs> but I, I, you know, I remember my whole life. Hey, no, no, I, I, my, my, my brother was in this. Yeah, yeah your brother. Um, yeah, I'm a couple of calls. I, I called him that and asked him about it. I remember going, damn, because I, I was big. I was like 75 or something like that, 175, 80. And I was like, when I, when I moved around with Orland, I think it was you first and then him. I was like, oh, hell. <laughs> yeah, I'm, sure, I'm sure it could have been, I'm sure everybody been a problem, man. But my brother, my brother, man, he's a good, I learned everything from my brother, man. He's, yeah, you know, he was a great fighter. He was a great fighter. And we'd love to interview him if we if we could get a, get in contact with him. Oh, cool. I, I, I'll give him your number, man. I appreciate it. Uh, so... Is there any, if you could name one fighter in history that, that you would fight, it doesn't have to be your era, it could be from 100 years ago, who would that be? Um, you know, no, no, um, no my, my, um, I would like to fight from Marvin Hagler. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I, would love, I would love to fight from Marvin Hagler. That's a bad boy. That's, that's, a, that's another idol. That's a bad boy. Yeah. I would love to, you know, for him, you know, 
The old guys, I, I watch tons of tapes. All I do is watch tapes. My, my father, he watch tapes. Sure how, how do you feel like you would have done against Roberto Duran? Oh, man. Yeah, that, that, that boy, body shots, man, good. I, you know, I think my boxing, my boxing would have got, got Duran, too. But, you know, if he had caught me, if he had caught me with a good shot, he probably would take me out. But um, if I move, if I, if I box the way I normally box, yeah, it'd been good for. Been, you were hard to hit. You weren't easy to hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one more relic. What about Alexis Arguello? Well, <laughs> another bad boy, man. That, yeah, that guy was. That dude was technician. Yeah, man. He, yeah, he, 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 shit. Um, I would like to say. Um, I would, I would, I would like to say I would have beat him. You know. I, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, say it with too much confidence. Like, is, you know, is there any fighter besides uh, Mugabe who really who you didn't like going in there? Um, uh, I think the only person, uh, Paul Vaden, is the person that I, that I hated. I hated Paul Vaden. That's why. That's why. Thing. Was that man? Paul Fain is a good friend of mine. Oh man, that's why that's why I punished for Paul Fain. <laughs> ask Paul Fain why I kicked his ass. What do you, what do? You do? He, would, ask me. he would tell you. Okay. Ask me. Yeah. Pretty pretty boy Paul Fain. He fought at like uh, fifty four, right? Yeah, fifty four, man. And man, I hated that guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, hey. <laughs> Can I say it on the other? No. Nah. Well, I, oh, I said, well, come on, let him go. I'll tell you later, man. But hey, if you ask him, he'll tell you why. We'll, we'll, we'll catch that another story. When, when the wife is not <laughs> overseer. So, Terry, what do you think about these YouTube guys now fighting, these uh, Jake Pauls and all that? Do you think it's good for the sport or do you think it's kind of corny? No, I think it's kind of corny too, man. It just, it's not good for the sport. It's not good for the sport of getting YouTube fighters come in. You make, you make a lot of money, yeah, but, you know, he didn't come up to the rings like normal. It's just, it's just, it's just unfair, unfair how he, it's just unfair how he, how he jumped up to champion, championship, the world title. It's just, I think it's not, I don't, I don't think it's good. Yeah, I, I completely agree with you. I mean, the only good thing about it is it's at least bringing more eyeballs to boxing. You know what I mean? That's your good thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just bringing eyeballs and a lot more, a lot more money. But yeah, but you know, you know, like in boxing, the eyeballs are more going to go to the to certain. Fight. Yeah, everybody else still got a job during the week, and they fight on the weekends and do shows. But <clears throat> you know, boxing is a very uneven sport. Yeah, you know? yeah. All percentage make the money. Everybody else has got a job on the week. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's you know, I, I did very well in boxing. Thank God. Uh, you know, I'm, yeah. and I'm still healthy. You uh, know, I so I, I'm, I'm I'm grateful for boxing, man. But you know, it's 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 totally unfair it's how how things are how things are going. All, all these titles, all these world titles. It's just too many mm -hmm. world. Titles. Too many world titles, too many world champions. This is too much. Um. So, Terry, who, who would you say was your most like satisfying victory of all the people you beat? What one was? Um. Um. If you say Paul Vaden, you know. <laughs> no man. I, 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 you know, Paul Vaden probably would be one 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 of the guys that had bad kicked his butt, but um. <laughs> I'm Ray Leonard, um, John Mugabe, you know, the time, every time, every time I lost my world title and came back, I'm, I'm, I was those fights, man. So, like, so, uh, on the other, on the other side of the coin, what was your most disappointing, like, loss or fight? Oh, uh, disappointing. I know, man, the first, first, first time I lost, first time I lost, there was this, yeah, that was that was hurtful. That really, that really broke me down. And did did you 
were you able to learn from bounce back right away? Wow. Uh, yeah, I, I learned from it, and we came right back. Um, you know, we came right back, and I had another fight and, and beat the guy. I mean, but you know, so it, it kind of felt, it kind of felt okay. But you know, I had more fights and kept kept winning, so I built my confidence back up. You know, it's it's it's, it's weird how these days people that at losses as bad but like you know back in the day fighter you marvin Hagler, a lot of these greats had losses it doesn't having a couple losses not, you know ruin your whole career you know it shouldn't be a marker of, of how fighters or careers are looked at, having some losses Do you agree? no i agree, I agree. You know, just because you lose don't mean that you're a bad fighter or something but, you know because um, <laughs> everybody, everybody well for me, we didn't lose, but he didn't fight the key and fight the quality of he didn't fight the fighters. You know what I mean? But, yeah. Um, yeah. So I think I think if for if, boxing I mean, is sport, man. You, you you know today you you you're the best in the world. Tomorrow you yeah, that's yeah. how it goes. And yeah. you know it and it, it has no there's no mercy. No, 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 they don't, man. They don't. It doesn't. So yeah. as you go on about your days, what do you got? What are you What are you doing now in, in LA? You you, get, you retire. You got you great life. You had a great boxing career. You and your wife just doing what these days? Me, me and my wife, we own a boxing gym. You know, it's, it's, we, we we own a boxing gym in in Los Angeles, California, called Jim is it? What gym? It's called It's called World Cardio. World Cardio Boxing. World Cardio. A friend yeah. of mine, a friend of mine's wife took some classes with you like three or four years ago. She told me about him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hey, how'd, you like, how'd you like it? She liked it, yeah. I mean, she yeah. liked it. So, yeah. you know, of a boxing class, you're doing like a boxing aerobics type class? Well, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a boxing workout. It's aerobics, yeah. That's great. That's great. Yeah, you, it's, a, it's a work, man. Mm. Uh, do you still work out? Hit the bag? Um, yeah, I hit the bags. You know, my my my, uh, my bison class is like full of females. They they love it, and so mm -hmm. I just, um, you know, I, I I may hit the bag with them, let them see 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 a real fighter hit, me, hit the bag, but um, you no, know, they they love it, and I love it. So where so where, where is your gym? My gym is in Los Angeles, California. I know that, but like, get some streets. We see, so Magnolia and we just expanded. Well, we we just expanded to uh, so, some Magnolia and Colfax. I don't know, LA. I'm in Studio City. It's Studio City. Yeah, I know you. You know what I mean? I, yeah, yeah. I come by. Yeah, you know, um, you know, a good friend, of, a good friend of mine. Uh, Teresa knows you. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know her? <laughs> no, I, no, I think it's just like they worked with. She she works with a good friend of mine. Uh -huh. she, and I told her I was, told her I was having a live, and he's, she showed she knew you. Um, oh, I, yeah. I said hello. One thing I, I loved about one of the things I liked about you is that you had some of the coolest '90s hair. Maybe oh, some yeah. ball now. <laughs> Yeah, you remember yeah. you were. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah but, I, I a little, 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 little design, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, 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 it's just, it's just ball, man. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't grow. It. it won't, it won't grow, man. Um, <laughs> so you retired relatively young at thirty-one, right? Um, when I retired. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what what. What made you? How did you know that it was time to hang? Up? Like, what was the thought process? I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't want to hang up. Um, Doctor um, Doctor Goodman. She 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 would she would, she would re renew my re renew my license. She wouldn't renew. No. At, at, how, how many years did you have in the sport? I I fought um, ten years now. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> was that really tough for you when that happened? Uh, it was tough because 
I'm 31. I'm just, I was just getting ready to get into it, you know. Um, but but um, I, so, think, I think I think uh, Dr. Goodman, she saved my life, you know. Uh, I was about to, when you look back at, or you happy that you stopped? I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy she stopped me. Yeah, I am. Wow. Uh, um, beautiful. I mean, beautiful. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> yeah. You had a great career. You've been a wonderful guest for us. And Merry Christmas to your wife. And I'm gonna come to him and see. You, you gotta come closer. You're cutting out. I'm gonna come to you. To your boxing. Your boxing gym. I'm gonna right. come. To you. All right, come, come on by, man. Yeah, man. Good right. yeah, time. Yeah, come, man. It was All great right. talking, man. Thank you. Let's do it again. All right, thank you. All, All right. right, good day. Take care. All right. All right.